Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're from. I'm Luke FM, bringing you another mystery football shirt video. Um, the first shirt that we have today is from a company called mysteryboxed.com. Mystery box without the E at the end in the, in the box part of it. Home of mystery boxes. Uh, there is a QR code on the back of it. I don't know if that, if that gives you anything, but if you want to scan it, scan it. Um, Pretty straightforward. I won't delve, to, won't vamp too much. I'll just get on with it. Um, okay, so there's nothing in there. It's just a shirt. There's no palaver about it. Um, it's a white shirt, which I hate straight away because I don't like white shirts because they just get stained easily, especially with me because I'm such a mucky sod when it comes to eating. Um, purple collar though, orange collar inside. I've got no idea what this is at the moment, but we'll see. Um, sorry, pull that up. There we are. Right, let's put that over there. Get all the tissue off here. Oh my god, there's loads of tissue on there. It's the mat on shirt. Oh my days, they have really covered this in tissue. I'm trying to get it, I'm trying to grab it all before my dog decides to try and eat it and then rips it off. Right, so, um, oh, it's Perth Glory. My first Australian football uh, team shirt. Let me just stand up and easier to show you that way. So, uh, big QBE sponsor, Perth Glory. Uh, logo, sorry, there you go. Macron. Let's have a look. There is tags here as well. On this tag, it's, uh, there's no price on it conveniently. But I'd assume. Uh, I don't, it doesn't say what year. I'll have a look at that in a second. So, yeah, so what I'll do in a sec is I'll come back with this on and then we'll, I'll talk about what season it's from and how much it would cost me if i bought it so this one cost me about this mystery box cost me about 35 pounds so let's see if we've got value for money i'll be back in a sec right so here it is on me um even though it's a 4xl it's quite tight but it just depends on um the supplier a macron i've never i don't think i've had any of a macron shirts or if i have i think i've met with one more um, and that was quite tight on me. Um, but whereas if I put if I put a free XL Adidas on, for instance, fits me fine. Bit of space, fine. So it is what it is. Nothing I can do about that. But um, I had a look on. I had a look online. It's from the two thousand and seventeen to two thousand eighteen Australian League season. Um, I had a look on eBay. I, I couldn't find one on classic football shirts. I had a look on eBay um to see if any of them sold there was um there's there was an xl that sold for 35 quid this one's a 4xl i don't think you're going to find many australians in perth that are as big as me they're very health health conscious over there so i um i could technically probably put this on ebay and try and make my money but i'll just keep it but i just won't wear it very often um uh, it feels nice the material feels nice um and stuff like that but yeah it's just I'll be honest with you, it's just not a very exciting shirt to me. I don't mind if the team's not that well known outside of I mean obviously they're they're well known in Australia, but um it's just it's just a bit boring, isn't it? And white with a purple trim. I would have liked something a bit more exotic. Um I know you can't see that, but there's a sponsor on the back there as well. But you know, it's alright. It's I got my money's worth because, like I said, if I wanted to sell this, I would probably get my money back or slightly less. But it wouldn't feel like I don't feel like I've been completely shafted over. So, a fair play to them for that. Um, I would just like something a bit more wow than what I got. But if you want me to score it out of 10, I would say 6 out of 10. It's not. It's not terrible, but it's not amazing. But like I said, I don't feel like I've been robbed. Um, obviously, with these mystery boxes, sometimes you'll get a shirt that, that, that 
you can get for 15 quid and you pay 35 quid and it's like i understand these companies need to make money but they don't get the shirts for 15 quid they probably get them for like five pounds if that they probably buy them in bulk so they pay like five pound a piece and they're making 20 25 pound profit and, and on and like a five pound shirt and i just feel like that's a bit too greedy as far as i'm concerned so like i said it's a nice shirt it feels nice it's a bit tight on my belly but this happens a lot with me and football shirts lately they don't make them uh they don't make them well suited for the big fella like me um but yeah like i said overall it's all right i'm expecting a another delivery tomorrow on which will be saturday so i'll do another part of this video that you'll see in a second um and then so on and so on so um as you're watching the vid this video this video will be released in a few days time so yeah but overall like i said it was like i said six out of ten if you want to give them a go i, I've sh I've, I think I, sh I showed you the website at the start but i'll, I'll show you again uh mysterybox.com they might be better the thing the problem i think the thing with these companies they probably don't have many football shirts in my sizes so i think if you if you were a lot thinner than i am i think you'd get a lot more choice in shirts um a lot of football clubs don't tend to do football shirts in certain sizes especially in different countries because they're a lot probably healthier than than us spritz are so yeah so give them a go if you want i can't remember how much exactly it cost me but um I think I got 10% off. If you sign up to their email um, newsletter or whatever it is, you get 10% off your first deal. So I think it worked out about 30, 30 quid or something like that, which, which, like I said, it ain't too bad. So, yeah, give them a go, and I'll be back in the, in the next part of this video, hopefully with a, with a more exciting shirt from a different company. Back in a sec. Right, I'm back. Um, so basically, I had on Saturday, um, I had a um, shirt, mystery shirt delivered by, um, I can't remember what the company's called now, but basically, um, I was not happy with it. I have recorded a video part of it, um, but because I'm having to return the shirt that they gave me, it's going to basically delay the release of this video. So what I'm going to do is do that one as a separate video but basically what they sent me was um first of all it wasn't a it was basically they sent me a, a gostepe fc so a team in turkey they sent me what what I, it's not a football shirt even though it is actually technically their third shirt from two, two or three years ago it feels like a polo top it's really like a casual top um and it was a 4xl which is what i asked for but it it didn't fit like a 4xl if that makes sense so it was too tight on me um i haven't put any weight and i've lost weight so it's nothing to do with me um and also the the most annoying thing about it is i had a look on classic football shirts to see how much it would have cost me to buy and it would have cost 15 pounds and i paid 35 pounds now i know these companies need to make money um don't get me wrong but you know i wasn't happy with it so i've emailed them um i first of all said i just want my refund and i was just going to buy one from somewhere else because i was really not happy because I, I i genuinely put I, I actually put it in the email that i would ask for an exchange but i genuinely don't trust that you would give me a shirt um of reasonable value so they've emailed me back they've apologized um they understand my concerns and they are happy with whichever one i want to do um, they did they did say if I did exchange it they would give me a shirt that would be more more like up to value of what I pay for so I'm willing to give them another chance I can't remember what the company's called at the moment at the top of my head maybe I should have done that before I record this video <laughs> um but oh oh uh, ah I've just seen it on my bloody freezer um the box is over there um they're called Enigma now I'm not trying to slate them or anything like that at the end of the day I might have just been unlucky and I'm willing to give companies another chance. So what I'll do is I'll do a separate review for Enigma football shirts. Um, when I get this one back, I've got to return the, the one I've already got today um, and then wait a few days for them to get it, then wait for a few days to get to, for them to send out. So it will be next week now when I have to do that one. Um, but it's all right. It just means I do two separate videos instead of one. Um, this one might just be... Um, the review I just done a second ago in this part of the video and the one I've got today, which is here. 
and then I might do the other two because I've got another one I've got to wait for. Um, that should be here at any point this week, and then I'll wait for the other one. And so I'll do two videos instead of one. Um, helps me with content, so it's not really that bad. And I am expecting some fake shirts soon as well, so I can do a review video on them because they the fake shirt videos have got quite a few views and quite consistent for watch hours as well. So it's good to know that what I'm, the, the new stuff I'm trying out is actually working as well. But anyway, um, this is one of the shirts I got from Mystery Shirt, by the way. Uh, VFL Unstruck. It's a really nice... I actually really like this shirt. I like the colour um, purple with the gold stripe. You don't see that very often. The collar's beautiful. It feels nice as well. So I was really happy with that one. And I was gutted about that Goss Tepe third shirt because it was a burgundy colour um, with a gold... gold lettering and stuff it looked really nice it just didn't fit me and like i said i feel like i got ripped off so what i might do is look at maybe getting that separately sometime if i can find one in my size um well not my size a bigger size because that was a 4xl which just didn't really fit me so maybe i need to go 5xl but i don't think they'll do a 5xl anyway on that note i'm here this part of the video is going to be a review of um a mystery shirt i got from cult kits now um I've never bought from cold kits before so um, I'm trying out new companies all the time so if there's any new companies out there that people think I should give a go that I haven't already please let me know in the comment section um, and I'm happy to give them a try at some point in the next couple of months but yeah so here's the one from cold kit now it's just literally just a bag um, on the other side it's just got the postage label with my name and address obviously I'm not going to turn it over for obvious reasons um, but there's no like fancy the packaging, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, I'm not too bothered about the packaging, it's the shirt that's inside. So, right, let's see. I've already ripped it because I knew it would take me so long to do. Oh, so it comes in a nice gold package like this. Um, and then I've got to try and figure out how to open this. There we go. Use all my brute strength for that one. Going to the gym's working out for me. So from, right, okay, so that's the shirt. So I'm going to show you first. So that's the shirt. Um, let's have a look at the logo. I think it's uh, from the language. It's an Arabian team, maybe. Again, a white shirt. I don't like white shirts because I can't wear them because I just know I'll get stained on them. This bag, oh, there we go, there we go. This does not feel like a free XL, but we'll see. Um, what's on the back? Oh, Zamalek, I've heard of them. Egyptian team. So there you go. That's pretty cool, actually, to be honest. Um, I don't think I've had a African shirt yet, unless I, I might have. I can't. I don't think I have. I had a um, the the shirt the shirt that you saw just now in the first part of the video. That's from Australia. So I'm ticking continents off as we speak. I've done. I've done uh, I've got Africa and uh, Oceania tick now. Could do maybe with a South American. Oh no, I have got a South American shirt because oh no, I haven't North American. I've got a North American shirt because I've got the the the, the Shoreline United shirt and also a vintage shirt from a Mexican team and I can't remember Toluca maybe I can't remember but that one I won't be able to wear because it's a bit too small for me. But um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, like I said, I'll just stand up and show you. You know, it's okay. Is it worth 35 quid? No. Um, but I'll have a look in a minute. See if I've been ripped off or not. From the, here's it from the back. The pattern's pretty cool. I'll try and do a close-up of the pattern. The pattern on there is pretty cool. Um, but anyway, I'll come back in a second. And I'll do some research. And then I'll come back and let you know if I've been ripped off or not. Right, so here it is on me, like so. It's, um, as you can see, I'm sorry you can see my nipple there. Um, as you can see, it's just not, like I'm having to really pull it down here. This is meant to be a 3XL or a 4XL. Um, it's like I said, it just depends on the supplier. If it's Adidas and it's a 3XL, legit shirt, fits me fine. I've got a Man United shirt, it's 3XL, fits me beautifully. Um, Nike's probably the same. Puma, not so much. Any other low, like like other brands out there that football shirts use? I don't. I've never. Sorry, that one. I've never heard of Tempo. Um, it's not built for the bigger bigger guy like me. And like I said, 
they're not probably catering for people like me. Um, probably catering for people that are a bit smaller, but yeah, as you can see. On the plus side, though, this shirt, um, let me sit about that. This shirt is last, the season just gone, 2023 24 seasons. Um, I think it's home shirt. I'll just have a quick look. Yeah, home shirt. So, not too bad. On classic football shirts, you can you can get it for $29.99 um, or $24.99. Um, has this one got the. No. Yeah, so it's definitely this season's. So, it's not. It's, I don't feel like I've been had. Like I had with the other with Enigma, but I'm hoping Enigma make it right. So we've got to. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. We'll know more about that when I do their the video for that one next week. Now, so yeah, so that one's all right. Um, this one's all right. It's but I'm probably going to have to return it because I can't wear it. Um, out and about, it's just too short on me. It's too the, the length's too short. Um, and it's quite tight, and it's not like I said, it's not very flattering on my my fat belly. Um, I want, like, when I wear a football shirt, I don't want it to feel so... I don't mind it being tight on my arms because I, I work out, so I like to have tops that are short, but you can't get it both ways. You can't get it You can't get it tight on your arms, but then, like, baggy on the belly. It just They just don't do them like that. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing I'm trying to figure out as I'm going along by buying these. There might have to come a point where I might just say, okay, until I lose quite a bit of weight, which I'm trying to do, I might have to put these videos on hold because i'm just wasting money on tops um that i ain't gonna be able to wear i've got a lot of fake football shirts i can't wear granted they didn't cost me anywhere near as much as these but you know it's a waste of money and uh as much as i don't mind doing these for content because it make it helps people like you when it comes to buying mystery shirt boxes um there comes a point where i have to say enough's enough but we'll see i might have to um after the next video i might have to just say no more mystery boxes for a while um but yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes i probably will because i love buying football shirts now i've become a bit addicted to it so but yeah we'll just have to see how it goes but anyway we'll call an end to this video um sorry for all the confusion and um what i'll do is i might leave the the bit of the video where i reviewed the dos tete um shirt in there um and then do a follow-up when i do the next video about how they redeem themselves but i'll see how i feel i don't really want to slag them off in a video and then basically if somebody from the company watches the video they're probably less likely to give me a decent shirt because i've already slagged them off so i might just leave that bit for now actually do you know what i've just done the self talk in my head just gone through the whole process i'm not going to show you the uh the little bit of review i'm going to try and give them the benefit of the doubt um i can always keep that part of the video and then add it to the next video as well so i'll see how it goes anyway i'm rambling on enough's enough um and i'll be back next week with another mystery shirt video hopefully with some better shirts because this one and the one i got perth glory they were all right but like i said i don't like white shirts so and obviously this one doesn't Hit me at all at least the perfect glory one fits me okay so anyway right i'll speak to you soon thanks for watching